the revelation of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is literally the purpose of God. That is why we have the word Revelation 1.1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants the things that must shortly come to pass and sent and signified by his angel <laughs> to his servant John. Jesus is the head of God's body on earth. And all this was revealed to John. Jesus Christ is the purpose of God in time. He is the beginning and the end. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. John 1.14 And the Word was made flesh. This body was prepared, manifested, offered, and then glorified. Beginning is the word reishith, meaning the first, the chief, the choice, the part, the head. John 1, 2, the same was in the beginning with God. Revelation 1, 8, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The Lord which was, which is, and which is to come. The Almighty. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. God's Spirit came from His bosom. From the bosom of the Father, He sent forth the Spirit. And God said, Let us, Father and Spirit, make man in our image and after our likeness. 2 John 1 19, Whosoever transgress and abide not in the doctrine of Christ, have not God, and he that abide in the doctrine of Christ, hath both the Father and the Son. The doctrine of Christ is the Father and Son in his image and in his likeness. Jesus Christ was the face of God, the face that Moses could not see. On the mountain, Moses was face to face with God. Now, 1 John 3, 2 says, Beloved, now we are the sons of God, and he doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. This is the purpose of God in time. Moses was on the mountain face to face with God and the Lord spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks unto his friend. And he said, you cannot see my face for no man shall see me and live. Without the spirit, you cannot see the kingdom of God. You cannot see the face of God. But 2 Corinthians 4, 6 <laughs> reveals this face or forward side. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Revelation 22, 4 And they shall see his face and his name shall be in the forest. We will have the fullness of God. Revelation 4, 5 Out of the throne proceed lightnings and thunders and voices. There were seven lambs of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. All the trees were chopped down, and out of the stem of Jesse came one branch. The Spirit of God is on him, the Spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel and might, knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And before the throne, was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and around about the throne there were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the beast was like a lion, the second like a calf, and the third was the face of the man, and the fourth was the beast was like flying eagle. I want you to see how this order of animals changed as when Ezekiel actually saw this body of heaven being prepared in the form of four animals on wheels within wheels which is life cycles in generations 
Exodus 24 verse 10, yeah, the whole Israel saw and they saw the God of heaven. There was under his feet a paved work of sapphire stone and it were a body of heaven in its clearness. This paved work of sapphire stone is the preparation of the body that took place in heaven. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 44 says, It is sown a natural body and it's raised a spiritual body, talking about death and resurrection. And then he goes on and says, There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. We have a natural body because of sin. Light life became blood life. And when we see him, we will be like him. Blood life will be changed to light life with our death. And that is immortality. The preparation of this body was foreshadowed in heaven, but was manifested on earth. There was a battle for seed from the beginning between the woman's seed and the serpent's seed. And Revelation 4, 6 to 9 says, Around the throne were four beasts, full of eyes before and behind. The first beast was like a lion, the second like a calf, the third the face of the man, the fourth like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty, which was, which is, and which is to come. This connects us right back to Ezekiel's vision. The two bodies that formed on earth, one is the counterfeit body, the other one is the body of God himself, is the body where God himself will indwell. Four means earthy. The body revealed from heaven was prepared on earth. The four faces of God, the man Noah, Abraham the ox, David, the royal one, the eagle, and Christ, the lion who became a lamb. These are also four generations or wheels within wheels. The church wants to be the lion, but he says, let this mind be in you because the lion became a lamb. The church is his body, the dwelling of the spirit right here on earth in this fallen creation. And revelation is the hand of God revealed. God sends his letters now to his body, instructing how to become overcomers in this fallen situation. So revelation is about Jesus Christ, the head, the church, his body on earth, and the kingdom, the dwelling of his body. And then how he dealt with the adversary and how he worked through time to remove the old and bring the new. This is why it's very important that we do not mix times and seasons. Revelation 1.10 Write a book and send it to the seven churches in Asia. Please note, there is no letter written to the church in Jerusalem because these seven new churches forms the new Jerusalem and we are not to mix the old and the new. Revelation 1, 12 to 20. And being turned, I saw even seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, one like the Son of Man. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying to me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and death. Write these things which you see and the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou saw in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks. These seven stars are the angel of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. And this takes us right back to Isaiah 11. You cannot read these things separately. The body is a dwelling for the spirit and the kingdom is a dwelling for the body. Genesis 6 verse 3, the Lord said, My spirit will not for always strive with man 
And then he goes on, a body has been prepared. Then the body was sacrificed so that his many membered body on earth can be filled with the spirit. There is one body, Ephesians 4, 4. One spirit, even as you are called into one hope of your calling. 1 Corinthians 12, 14. For the body is not one member, but many. Hebrews 10. By which you were sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The New Testament is letters of the apostles to the infant church. But in Revelation 2 and 3, God himself sends letters to the church, his body. We need to read these letters in order to be overcomers in this life and to possess the kingdom of God on earth.